Concert Night, Oregon Music Hall of Fame. Here we are in the Aladdin Theater, and we're talking to Dave Cutter, who's the owner of Sundown Sound. Congratulations and welcome to the Oregon Music Hall of Fame, my Thank friend. Thank you very much. It's pretty, an honor. Pretty awesome. You were in the sound business. When did you start? 1971. And that was the essentially the infancy. It's a, it's that, such was a, the, yeah, that was the infancy of it, yes. Yeah, it's a different business altogether now. It is. You hear Paul McCartney talking about... Uh, the difference between playing in the early days and, and not even having monitors and playing now and it's night and day. Mm -hmm. And you've seen that entire spectrum. It's been an interesting one. So your first show is, some, you have a story about Fleetwood Mac, was that your very first show? That yeah, that was where I for? learned how to be a sound guy. The, by what, the trial by fire, they just threw yeah. you? Yeah, no, I just, uh, hey, we got a show down here at the Paramount with Fleetwood Mac, you wanna do it? Yeah, why not? We're in the sound business, let's go do it. So you rolled the uh, the speakers in and yeah, all six of them. <laughs> and and what kind of input did you get from the band? Well, let me see. Me and Bob Welch just about got in a fist fight. There wasn't much to him. The, uh, I, I, I think it probably could have taken him. The old manager wanted me. What's the language thing here? Whatever you want, man. The old the old manager from Fleetwood Mac wanted me to make Jacob's ladder sound like shit because they sounded pretty good at the sound check. <laughs> I love it. That's so great. And that's what it, you know, that was my first introduction into, uh, you know, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, a, it's not a nice guy business. No, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty cutthroat, pretty egotistical. You know, it's all about me. You know, once in a while you get a thank you. In of course, now me. Well, here, the thank you is here. You're in the Oregon Music Hall of Fame now. Yes, that's, that's right. That's where the thank you is. That's where the big thank you is. So, obviously, the experience with Fleetwood Mac wasn't enough to turn you off. You decided to continue and... Yeah. Nah, you know, I needed a job. <laughs> that's a good, that's so, a good motivation, right? To me, it was like going to work 8 to 5, but it was 8 to 8, you know, or 8 to 4 in the morning or whatever. Well, I, I always looked at this as a job. It wasn't hanging around with big stars. or I just got, I got talked into it. And I did it, and I went, oh, I guess this is all right. So I just kept going. Yeah, anyone who's ever watched The Sound Person knows they're way too busy to listen to the concert. Yeah. Way too busy. So talk about what it means to you to be in the Oregon Music Hall of Fame. Well, um, it means I did, I must have played recording right somewhere for somebody. Um, I've touched a lot of lives in this town in the industry. I've touched a lot of lives in the people in the industry. And uh, it feels good to know that you've helped somebody else pursue their dreams and their passions. And I'm pretty proud of that because I was a little bit of that. I've been, I've been, I did a lot of grand openings in this town for big stuff, you know, convention centers and tri-mets and stuff. And it was, part, it was really good to be part of the community, you know, giving back and helping them out. And, Getting, getting things off to the right start. So that's what it, I guess that's what it means to me. I was part of, even though it's a little bitty part, I was part of something. And the thing, I, the, the real crux of this organization to me is what they do with, that ki with the kids and the music. Because the other thing that I feel like I've accomplished in this industry is music is our common denominator in life. I don't care who you are, how much money you got, whether you live in a castle or under a bridge, everybody has music in their blood. It, it, it's the energy that keeps us moving. And when you have a band sending out energy and receiving energy, it's constant. And it took me a while to figure that out, but it's communicating. And I was, I guess I was really, after I figured that out, it was really cool to realize that I was part of this sending and receiving and this expanding and retracting. And, so when I found out they were doing this, what their real mission is, uh, I was pretty excited about that. Well put. Well put. True or false? Prince once said that the sound system you put in the Roseland Theater was the best sound he ever heard. That's a fact. Really? I built uh, Cal Perkins, who used to be, if it wasn't for Cal Perkins, we probably wouldn't be in the sound industry as soon as we did, but he was the first one to build a speaker cabinets. And he lives in Portland here. And I went to him back in 1984 when I was thinking, I was getting tired of the way sound systems sound. And so he built the first trapezoidal sound system ever in the country. 
And it was pretty, it was pretty potent. It was pretty powerful, very dynamic, low distortion. And, uh, and that was in 1984. And when I got out of it, when I, when I sold I Lycan, sold, I sold sound system into the Roseland, when was, when was Prince here? 2013? He was here a couple times, but I think the, the last time the incident I remember was like uh, 2013. No, like he was that. here in 2013 at the Roseland. And he walked in there and he put a CD and then he goes, "Wow, I never heard a sound. I never heard sound like this before." And he told his guys to leave his PA on the truck and bring in some monitors, and that was about it. So that was, you know, I'm, he's a pretty fussy guy. When Prince says, and this was, what, 84, 94, you know, 30 or some years later, and that, that was still sounding as good as it was back then in 84. Man. So, yeah, that's a fact. That's something that goes on a business card. Yeah. <laughs> Prince yeah. digs me. Yeah. <laughs> and so should you. Well, Dave Cutter, congratulations. We are so proud and happy to have you in the Oregon Music Hall of Fame, and especially knowing that you really understand what's behind the motivation of this organization, and that's keeping music alive for future generations. And we thank you for helping us to accomplish that. My pleasure. I'm glad I was able to do something. <laughs>